Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I would like to thank all of you guys response on my first video. In previous video, I told you a business idea using Illustrator. If you didn't watch yet, so I will leave a link by the end of this video, so watch this video by the end. And if you didn't subscribe my channel, so please subscribe now. Because here I will tell you guys business ideas on last Sunday of every month. Today's video is character design tutorial. I hope you will enjoy it and get inspired to make your own character's designs. So let's get started. For right side, select it, press Alt key and drag it to right. Then right click on it, go to arrange then bring to front. Then place it, like so. Now let's make ears. It's so simple like eyes. For that select ellipse tool and make a circle. And choose a color. Then press Ctrl plus C for copy and Ctrl plus F for paste to front. Then hold Alt key and make it smaller than first circle. It will be an inner part of here. And group both shapes. Place it at left side of head. Then send it to back. And adjust it. For right side here. Press Alt key and drag it to right and align proper with left side here. Select Rectangle Tool from Tools Panel. 
Make a rectangle like this. Make all corners rounded. And choose a color. Then select rectangle shape. Go to free transform tool and choose perspective distort. To make it in shape. Like so. Now place it and adjust the size accordingly. Let me adjust size as well, little bit. Now time for mouth. This is my favorite part in making character designs. And let me tell guys. It is so simple and very effective for your character's expressions. For that first select ellipse tool and make a perfect circle. Then we need one more circle for tongue. Place it, like this. So press Alt key for duplicate circle and choose bright red color for it. Then select both shapes and go to Pathfinder tool. And divide option. After that, right click on shape. Click on ungroup. Then select unnecessary area and delete it. Now we will make teeth. Select Rectangle Tool and make a rectangle on top of circle and make corners rounded little bit like so then go to Pathfinder Tool again choose Divide option then select Shapes and ungroup them select upper part of rectangle and delete it select all shapes and group them together now place it below of nose and align with nose Yeah. Now it's look exact as I want. Little bit passionate. Now time for other part of body. But before that. I want to change color of hairs. Little bit darker. Now start with neck. For that select rectangle tool. And make a rectangle like this. And make all corners rounded. Give it color as well. Align it and send it to back. After that we will make some copy of the shape. So press Alt key and drag it little bit down. And change color. And send it to back. Again press Alt key and drag it down. And change color. And send it to back. And adjust all shapes. Like this. In upcoming days, I will post speed art on my channel. There will be a lot of designs of flat faces. So you will get more ideas to make different faces with different different expressions to get inspired for your own character designs. So if you did not subscribe my channel yet, subscribe it now. Now we will make chest and stomach. For that, select rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. Select upper two corners and make them rounded like this. Now select bottom corners. And adjust the size little bit. While select both bottom corners, make them rounded little bit, like so. Then select shape. And press Alt key and drag it little bit down for one more copy. Change color and send it to back. Then select these two corners and adjust it like this and play with these both shape until you will not satisfied. Now we will make hands. For that select rectangle tool. And make a rectangle like this. Make all corners rounded. And give it skin color. Make one more rectangle for boxing pad. And make rounded corners little bit. And give a darker color. Align both shapes together. I think I need to increase it a little bit. Perfect. Now select boxing pad and make one copy for shadow. So press Alt key and drag it little bit up. Change color. Now select these two shapes. And go to the Pathfinder tool. And choose Divide option. Then right click on shape. Ungroup it. Select upper part and delete it. 
Select both shapes. And group it. Now we will place it left side of body. Like this. Let me adjust it. Then send to back. Our one hand is ready. For second hand, we just need to reflect this hand. For that select the shape, right click on it. Then go to transform. Reflect. Make sure vertical option is selected. Then hit on copy. Now place right hand on other side. Align both shapes together. OK. Our half design is completed now. Now select rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. Select lower corners and make them rounded a little bit. And change color. I am going with this. Then send it to back. Now for shadow. Select shape, press alt key and drag it down a little bit. And change the color. And send it to back. After that adjust both shapes. Like so. Now it's time to legs. Select rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. I will use long legs for this design. For shadow, I will press alt key and drag it to right. And change the color. I will use darker color for this. Now select both shapes. Go to the pathfinder and choose divide option again. Select the shape and right click on it then choose ungroup. Select the right side and delete it. Place it like this. Now at the bottom side. I will make a rectangle with rounded corners. Like so. Select rectangle tool and make a rectangle with rounded corners. We need one more copy. So press Ctrl plus for copy then Ctrl plus F to paste it front. And make both shapes rounded. Place it like so. Now select these leg shapes and make it in one group. So right leg is completed. For left leg, select the group, right click on it, go to transform. Reflect. Make sure vertical option is selected. Then hit on copy. Now we have both legs. Now place both shapes, accordingly. Like this. Select both shapes and send them to back. I think, I need to fix this part a little bit. If you want to fix something like this. Just ungroup it and adjust. And group them together. Perfect. Our design is almost complete. I want to make some extra shadows to look my design in different look. For that, I am going to start with shoes. First select ellipse tool and make a circle. And give light color. And place it, like so. Make one more copy by press alt key and drag it to right on other shoe. And adjust it as you want. I am making like that. Going to make some shadows for hairs as well. Here is a trick for rounded shadow. First select circle and make one more copy, 
by pressing Ctrl C for copy and Ctrl F for paste in front. Then select Pen Tool and add some point like this. Now select Direct Selection Tool and select all other points which you did not make and delete them. Increase Stoke size little bit then click on Stoke and choose second option. Make sure you have only Stoke not Fill. Then go to Objects. Path. Choose Outline Stoke. Now Boxing Coach is ready for teach you guys, so what are you waiting for? Just go ahead make your own character. You guys can share your character designs with me on Instagram. I will mention link in description. And I will show your design on my channel. I hope you like the video. So leave a like before you go. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, just hit on subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So you will never miss my video. And don't forget to ask me anything in comment box. I will be happy to answer of your queries. Thanks for watching graphic designs.